Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Friends in the Wild podcast. Or if you're new here, welcome. We're so glad you're listening. And my name is Laura Grace Jenkins. I was born on October 15th. I know. Do you? (laughs) I do. No. Okay, good. And I'm Mally. And welcome back. At first, when you said, if you're new here, I thought you were going to, like, change the name of the podcast. I was like, what's going on? I didn't realize you were just going to say yeah, welcome and I was, I was and not going rogue. I was, I was on the edge of my seat hanging yeah. on to wait. This, I think glad. this is the longest we've held eye contact while we're recording. Probably. <laughs> it's been a minute. Which I have my me. microphone turned a little more towards you this episode. It's going to be so. slightly uncomfy. I'm just going to be staring. My side profile is all there's going to be this episode, unfortunately. I'm so excited for this week's episode. Me too. You know, I was thinking earlier today, this episode is going to be like 0% passing the Bechdel test. Do you know what the Bechdel test is? No, what's that? I think that? we've talked about this before. I think I've told you this before. It's the test that people do. I don't know why it's called that. I'm going to look up the exact criteria, but it's like if you talk about, if you don't Wait, okay. Hold. Where is this going? Women. Okay, like in a movie. Yeah. If a movie passes the Bechdel test, it has two women who are named, who talk to each other about something other than a man. Oh, well, have that's you, have not you heard what of we'll this? be doing today. So, I was just thinking, let me look up Bechdel test criteria. Yeah. So. At least two women are featured. Those two women talk to each other, and they discuss something other than a man. Yeah. Not today, folks. Today, we're going to be sharing your alls, which I have to brag on our listeners for just a quick second. They showed up when we put the they did. the question box on our Instagram, and we got some from an outside source that we can talk about later, but... That really showed up and showed out uh, as they well. They really did. We had to beg them, plead them, but whatever. Multiple posts, but you know what? It worked out, and it I knew it would. Out. Today, been. we're talking about worst dates, worst encounters with the male species, just men being the worst. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The so. theme of this episode is man-hating, yeah. and my dad would hate that. He always says I'm quote, becoming a man-hater, and I just want to say that I've been a man-hater from day one. There's no becoming. She's been hating. Yeah. It's not new. I'm just kidding. I was actually also thinking about this earlier today, because I've been so excited for this episode. I've just been thinking about it all day. I can't wait to tell you these stories. Um, I was thinking while I was in the shower, that's weird for what I'm about to say. I was just thinking at some point in the day. Not in the shower. Undetermined point in the day. Um, about how... I have, like, good men in my life, and I shouldn't be a man-hater. And I'm not really. Yeah, you know? I'm not either. And, like, I'm literally engaged. So. Exactly. Like, Obviously, I don't hate men. I plan on marrying one. But they have something called the audacity. They literally do. And it's shocking. It's honestly it's unbelievable jarring. sometimes. It's... Mm-hmm. And one of my favorite things to do, and I can say this, you know, being with Colin for six years now one of my favorite things to do was to humble him when we were younger especially in high school and still to this day if he says something my favorite thing is just to knock him down a notch i just hate for him because it's embarrassing Mm -hmm. sabrina carpenter i'm kidding i'm kidding but like was right and i need to be knocked down sometimes too obviously because i'm but we just Human. like to say that it's because they're men, you know? Right. It's just fun. It's but a girl are, thing. I will okay? say, there are some things that, like, every whim, every woman in my life, if I said this, if I said whatever, you know, I was saying, they would say, yeah, absolutely. But men just aren't going to understand it. And it's like a sim- it's like simple things, you know? Yeah. There are just some things that I'm like, this is normal human information yeah. and you don't understand it's it. It's honestly and I just, don't... just kind of fun. It's kind of fun to pick on men. I just think that there's some things that they should understand that they just don't understand. And that frustrates me greatly. But I do agree. We have excellent men in our lives. So, let's not brag on them too much. It's the one time ever. (laughs) So, you might want to record that. I'm not sure if I would say excellent, but 
Good men. We'll say good. Anyway. Stop. Um, so first, do you have any life updates to share with the group? I do, actually. Um, Colin's sister, Morgan, got married this past weekend and it was so sweet. They just it was our their immediate family. Um, her and her husband. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a token. Her husband. That's crazy. I know it's so crazy because they've been together just about the same length of time that Colin and I have been together, so it's kind of just always been yeah. us since Jacob and I both entered their scene and their family scene. It's always been us at yeah. the same time. So it's crazy that, th and they got engaged two or three weeks before we did. So it's kind of just crazy that they're married yeah. now, but it and was so sweet. What else is going on in their life? And have you said that his older sister? And Colin has three sisters. The oldest sister is pregnant. And she is due in November. And then Morgan, his middle sister, just got married. And then his youngest sister just graduated high school. So it's, yeah. like, crazy. And you guys are engaged. Um, it yeah. is a crazy time. Just all that's going on. But the wedding was stunning. It was, she looked breathtaking. It was very classy and timeless. Like, those pictures will never no. get old. No. It was perfect, honestly. The pictures are, like, amazing yeah. seriously. and then there was like a little reception that we had where their friends could come and there was just like cheese and crackers and wedding cake and it was just really sweet and just simple and that's exactly what they wanted you know what rarely do i see a wedding like photos of a wedding that i think i would be perfectly fine if that was my wedding oh but yeah. i feel that way about morgan's wedding like oh, yeah. it was so just sweet and perfect. it was i mean obviously i wasn't there but like yeah, yeah. it was and it was super perfect. small and it was like even when she was walking down, it was, like, kind of that the pressure was off just because it was us. So, like, if something went wrong, just start over, you know? Yeah, like, it's yeah. just our fam or their family. So, it was really just, yeah, sweet and perfect. I think that is awesome. But that's about it that I've been up to. You got anything? Um, well, I did spend all morning making this little pillow. It's so cute. It's pretty cute. I um, printed it like the our logo, you know, on fabric, and then put denim on the back. Obviously, so it's so extremely friends in the wild. Anyway, yeah. it's just kind of cute. It's adorable. Thank so you so much. So that's what for I've been doing. That. I think there might have been one other thing that I was going to share, but I don't really. How was your fourth Independence Day weekend? How was your Independence weekend? It was very independent. Yeah. Uh, we had Morgan's wedding yeah. on Saturday. Well, the 4th of July, uh, Colin played in a basketball tournament at the park, so I went and watched that. We went to the parade. For a moment. Then, um, we, like, felt the fumes from the parade after it was over. That's yeah. about the time we got there. Um, and then I kind of just chilled and went to a cookout and then watched the fireworks that Rogersville does because they just do it right, you know? Absolutely. They Where did you watch them? RMS, the front lawn. I watched them at... That feels weird saying. I know. I watched them in the Tractor Supply parking lot. That's probably a good spot. It was, yeah. Anyways, so... And then I had to go to work all weekend. Yeah. So. You? Um... Did you have a good fourth? Yeah, I did. Good. I just was with my family. Well, saw you at the parade and then was with my fam. And we had a great time. We had the American history trivia game this american history trivia game and we just like ask questions like not actually played the game just like ask the questions and it was just a really fun time and That's good yeah my aunt was there and she is a she was our fourth grade history teacher like, oh our so fourth I'm grade sure, history yeah teacher. i'm sure and she it, like everyone was just like was coming in and out anyway it was just really fun and everyone is involved and i love that you know can we jump in we can jump in i'm so so excited. I personally don't think I that was about I to have say. any bad date stories. Yeah. Um, shockingly. But I just, like, I don't have any off the top of my head. Yeah. Do you? I mean, I have, you like, just some... feel too vulnerable to share. Yeah. I feel like people would know who, yeah. like, any That's of like, the yeah. people that I was I've... talking about. I mean, I've been on, like, kind of, not a lot by any means, but, like, it's just a little too... Our our main category of <laughs> listeners are people that we know very well. Yeah. So we probably just shouldn't, you know? Yeah. Let's read others. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can say. 
Well, I, d I went on a date one time. Um, I guess to call it a date. I was, like, dating the guy. And, like, I can't share. I can't do it. I mean, I have, like, I was in high school, and I was talking to a guy, and he, like, called me an a-hole or something. Like, I don't know why he thought that was cute, but, like, okay, cussed at me, and, like, <laughs> cast at me. I don't know. I just felt weird about it. You know, like yeah, I just, I don't feel weird. like that's not a very swooning thing okay, to do. When I was in legitimately seventh grade, maybe sixth grade, and the other girl was in seventh grade, this one guy was Snapchatting us both and we were at a, like a sleepover and he messaged us both. It wasn't the same Snapchat. It was two different Snapchat and called us both thoughts, like T-H-O-T. -T. Can I say that word? Do we have to turn on explicit? I don't, know. I don't think that's like, I think that's like ho, you know? Oh my gosh, you're throwing out all the slurs. <laughs> anyway, T-H-O-T is what he called us, which I don't even know. I literally probably had to look it up on Urban Dictionary because I didn't know what it meant. But that was just, uh, that stuck with me. That's like, weird. Why did he do why that? that? And I was in sixth and grade. Sounds like he should look in the mirror. I promise you I wasn't. If he's texting two girls. Yeah. Grow up. At the same literally sleepover. Just... Never mind, I'm not going to say. That's about... Okay. Ready? So do you want me? I'll go first. How about that? Really? I'm kind of wanting you to go last. Save the best for last. Okay. Because I feel like yours are... Laura Grace got... She's reading Just our say, like, outside where I got sources. Them. Yeah, you can. There's a Facebook group that is, like, first of all, super entertaining. People post some, like, hilarious and interesting stuff in there. But it's, it's like a group for like, the, my college town for, like, girls, young girls, and usually it's, like, such a good community, but sometimes there's, like, hilarious stuff, so I knew I should go there because, obviously, you know, any dating scene in a pretty big-ish city is going to be pretty interesting, so I went there and asked, and I had to ask three times before I got responses, but then I got smart and added a photo to my post so that, that it, like, drew attention, and um, I got some really excellent stories, and are you ready to hear the first one? Are you going to go? Because actually you can, because I can't find what I'm looking for. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Are you listening? I'm, I am, obviously. I'm so ready. Okay. I will say some of these <clears throat> were a little spicy, and I've changed them just a bit because we can't have spice on here. We are a sweet-only podcast. And sometimes savory. And, like, we don't... I've tried not to read the ones that I got before, so I'm equally yeah. as shocked, yeah. so... These, I think I've, like, read most If of. it doesn't flow, you know why. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. Okay. So, this girl said, This definitely isn't the worst, but I laugh about it all the time. Matched with a guy on Hinge, we talked for a couple weeks and then finally met in person for a dinner date. He never once said my name. Not when we said hello, not once during dinner, and not when we said goodbye. Literally never said it, but it gets weirdy. Weirder. He had a co-worker named Casey and mentioned her a couple times. My co-worker named Casey did this, which is my name. So I laughed and said, that's a cool name, thinking we could maybe make a joke out of it. He laughed awkwardly and said, yeah, I guess so. I never really thought about it before. Then he just changed the subject and that was it. <laughs> so basically he had no he idea what this girl's didn't know name her was. Name. The whole time. Ew. Honestly. I, okay, I was peeking on our stories, and yeah. I think that's a recurring theme in this episode, is, like, not remembering their name. And honestly, I hate to give them the benefit of the doubt, but... But what? I could see that happening. Like, you not... You forgetting someone's name. But if you're going to dinner you're, sitting down with yeah, this person... Yeah, you're, like, trying to have something with them. That's just... No. Yeah. So... Okay, so kind of going off of what you just <laughs> said, this girl wrote in, a guy called me his ex-girlfriend's name. Shocking, jarring, shameful is but, what that but is. But not surprising. Like this, that has to be a common one, you know? I just like imagine you're sitting there and you're like kind of into the guy. Ugh. And it's like it's super so early bad on. when you're more into the guy than they are into you, and calls you. That's like his ex's name. I feel like if you're with a guy who's obviously like into his ex girlfriend, you can tell. 
It's gonna be really obvious, yeah. Yeah. That's never happened Especially to me. Especially when he says it to your face. I don't think I've ever experienced that, really. Right, because no guy would ever. No, like, once they meet me, it's like, it's over it's for over everybody else. Right. No, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, I think that, and that would just be, like, an obvious giveaway, you know? Because I really don't think, oh, actually, it, one of my people that I was with, their dad called me their ex-girlfriend's name one time. Isn't that, no. Isn't that funny? And then we all just, like, looked at each other. And then no, just, that's like, kept actually, going. that's terrible. Yeah. Can you believe that? <laughs> Did you know that? No. I have a very good one. Wait, let me go. Let me oh, go. are we gonna? Yeah, we'll alternate. Okay, sorry. I'm excited now. Okay. <clears throat> I actually don't think I've read this. Okay. Read I hope slowly. this is Yeah. I'm putting myself on blast for this one, since this might be his worst. I was home for summer break and met this guy on Tinder from Ireland that was here for the summer, back when I lived in New York. So we decided to go out for ice cream. While there, we were talking, and he looked at me and said, Do you even know my name? Another one. Stop. I was like, Of course I do, with an eye roll. I did it. He knew I did it. He was like, What is it? And I just laughed. His name was Patrick, the most Irish name ever. She should have just guessed. Yeah. <laughs> um, ended up running into him again a week later while I was coaching, and he was running laps at the track. Never spoke again until recently I posted a bikini pic on Snap, and he responded with, <laughs> should have tapped that when I had the chance. <laughs> so guess we're good. That is hilarious. Not you not knowing his name, but he's still I know. sold with fun and sinker. Should have tapped that. Is this like the year 2015? I feel How like people degrading. said that. <laughs> Should have what? tapped that when I had the chance. I'm cracking up. But you know what? <clears throat> Names are obviously not important in that situation. Yeah. He just yeah. was obsessed with Clearly you. he didn't care very much that you didn't know his name. And also, you should have just guessed. You could have yeah. come up with Patrick. Yeah. That's so funny. That is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I think you're going to be gagged by Do this. Do I know this one? No. Maybe. I was on a date with a guy once and noticed he had a lazy eye, so naturally I asked. Turns out the guy had a fake glass eye and popped his eye out on the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're eating. Imagine you're eating a grape. And so it pops their eye out. <laughs> Not a grape. No, 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 no. That's... That's like taking your Invisalign out at the table. Is a no taking your eye out at the taking table? Taking your eye out. That's too far. Keep it in your socket. <laughs> Keep that in your <laughs> socket. Seriously. That's what I've always been Why saying. Why did you ask? Why did you ask so about his said, lazy she eye? Said, so, so naturally, naturally I asked. When people have a lazy eye, I I have to say, that's not natural. No, naturally I don't ask. Mm -mm. My natural reaction is just to go with it. Yeah. To, my natural reaction is to say, am I okay with dating a man who has a lazy eye? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> naturally, she just had to ask. Naturally. Oh my god. And the answer is yes, by the way. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I had someone earnestly try to get me to come to his apartment for nefarious reasons by promising he would play me the song from the Barbie movie. Push. No. Literally push from the Barbie movie. He thought I wanted that. He also called me Young Thug. He was a white man. And told me to get dolled up for him. Should have ended it then and there. You didn't? I know. She didn't. <laughs> was this before or after the Barbie movie? If it was before... A, did they, like, come to him for the storyline? Seriously. You know, the Barbie movie's written about this man. Wanted to play her push and called her young thug? I, what I'm thinking happened is that he watched the Barbie movie and just completely missed the point. Yeah. He, he was like, oh, look at all these women listening to Ken's play push. Guys just don't get the joke. They, that's what I'm saying. They don't get stuff. They, they don't. don't. Okay. Anyway... I had just turned 16, this guy... Oh, sorry. I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> I had just turned 16. This guy made me come pick him up to go get ice cream. 
He was two years older than me. We stopped talking after that, and he's engaged now. <laughs> They're always engaged now. <laughs> Literally 18, wanting to just test her driving the day she turned 16. Won't, can't, can't come get you. Yeah. No, 16 also, like, you feel old in the moment, but 16 is an infant. You're so little when you're 16. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. This one's pretty short. Meet a guy. He seemed like Mr. Perfect. Everything was great. Took me and the kids out. As things progressed, I get told, hey, I'm married, but we're in an open relationship. No. Imagine you're like, everything's going good. Like, you're like, oh my gosh, like, maybe this man can, like, be good for me and my Even children. Because she has children. And, and that's then, what it has to hurt. Nope, I'm already married. And polygamy is illegal. Yeah. I fear that's against the law. Yeah. And we know the law. As you all know, we love our country. Yeah. Tis of thee. We don't... We'll know the law really well in, like, three years. Yeah, when she becomes a lit lawyer... Literally. Then we'll Then, like, very well. we'll give legal advice on this podcast. Just right. kidding. No, we will. That's also... No. You're not allowed to say that. It's fine. No, literally, you can't say that. No. <laughs> she didn't say it. Literally, what are you all looking at? Stop. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay. I broke up with a guy by asking if he thought we could get married. If that counts. <laughs> Imagine you're having this conversation. That's, that's an excellent way. Do you think we could get married? Scratch that. We're done. Okay. I have a kind of a similar story. My brother was with this girl, like, kind of. And she said to him, like, why don't you stay this weekend? We're basically dating. And I just feel like that's a surefire way to get rid of a guy, you know? Yeah. If you say, let's get married, or we're pretty much dating. Like, you just, like, no. push it further than it really is. Or, like, it is Guys are also weird and about And sometimes that. you are, like, basically dating. But you know that kind of all too well, right? Yeah, I do. But um, you can't say it prematurely. Yeah. But really, just, like, it's still on the guy. So, anyway... Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. I had an another person. This is from another girl who's written in okay. at some point and today. I won't tell you which. I had another person play me the harmonica and tambourine unironically in his car. He kept a mm. crocodile skull on the dashboard. I still kissed him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you brushed your teeth very well. That yeah, man this sounds like he's got something. He doesn't seem like a man who has good hygienic practices. Crocodile. On the dash. Harmonica. Is it like taped? Harmonica and tambourine. <laughs> Just in the back seat. Like, is this simultaneous? Yeah, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> he's got like the little like <laughs> necklace thing. And then just. He just wears it all the time. I would time. like to see that, actually. You should take a video. video. Go on another date with him. Take a video. Send it into us. Don't Thank kiss you. him. Yeah, don't kiss okay. him. <laughs> Sounds like he might just need mm. some testing done, you know? It's just yeah. concerning. <laughs> True. He needs a diagnosis. Okay. My boyfriend at the time and I were going out to eat on a date for Valentine's Day. I was so excited to be able to go on a date because we didn't go, on, go out a lot. When we got closer to the restaurant where we were going, his family calls and says that we should come eat with them. I'm talking mom, dad, brother, sister, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, the whole family. Well, I wouldn't have cared any other time, but it was Valentine's Day, and I wanted it to be very clear, and I had made it very clear the whole week prior how I was excited to go on a date with him. Oh, no. I'd mentioned to him <clears throat> when they called that I was really wanting it to just be us, and we got into this huge argument because of it. We ended up going to eat with his whole family after our fight, and we got sat at the little kids' table with all of the kids. He was still mad at me from our argument and wouldn't talk to me. So we spent our Valentine's Day sitting at the kids' table, not speaking. No. <laughs> the kids' table. What? Throw the man away. You're not even, like, s sitting with adults, <laughs> you know? Uh, no. And it's awful after you've, like, gotten in an argument and then you have to, like, be around their fam. Yeah. You, I don't think you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> their family because then it's yes. like they, if they send something's off it's your fault it's not their fault yeah and also like well depending on how long these people have been together like at this time but like if you're kind of new to the family and like the like they're your only person there you yeah. know it's just 
That's it's a terrible. horrible situation. He should have just gone out with you. Why just at the suggestion of going out to or going to eat with his family? He's like, okay, never mind. We'll never turn mind. around. We have to go eat with them. Yeah. On Mount, it's like one day a year. Yeah. Just like go eat with her. Seriously. Girl. And you're on your way. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I couldn't be more confused. Are you ready? Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Are you ready for yeah, this? I'm so ready. Had a first date with someone who wrote a poem while on shrooms and tried to explain to me that a Greek goddess communicated with him to write it. It was good, though. It was so good for him. <laughs> Not you being a sympathizer. He's so good at what he does. Even though that a Greek, Greek goddess, goddess. His muse, the Greek goddess. She was on to something. I'm cracking up. He was up. good at it. Literally her. Wrote a poem while, while on shrooms and tried to explain to me that a Greek goddess communicated with him to write it. But he did good. Where are we finding these people? I don't know where they're finding them. The crocodile tambourine Seriously. harmonica mixed with the Greek goddess. Like, where did you all I, go? I, 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 I don't know. Okay. Went on a first date with a guy, and we were planning to go to Gatlinburg since it was Christmas time, and we could shop on the strip, see the lights, etc. So I met him in his town, which was like over an hour away from me, and we were going to take his car the rest of the way to Gatlinburg. <laughs> so I meet him at his house, get in his car, and head to Gatlinburg. He said he needed to stop for gas before we left, so we stopped at a little gas station in his town, and after he pumped his gas, his car wouldn't start. So he sat there for a while and kept trying to crank the car, and after about 20 minutes, his car finally started. But there was no way I was taking his car two hours away, not knowing if it would start back up coming home. So he ended up taking my car and made it to the island in Pigeon Forge to eat for lunch. This man did not offer to pay for lunch. So there I was, stuck paying for a full tank of gas and lunch. Worst day ever. <laughs> What do you think about? Let's talk about that. Should the guy pay for the date? Me being a southern girl that I am, yeah, they need to pay, especially if they're inviting you. If I agree. they invite you, they need to pay. If it's like a a mutual like we should go on a date and you don't want any strings attached, I get that like not wanting to be indebted to someone yeah. if it's not oh, for possibly sure. going to go Actually, somewhere. We have some history in that. Yeah, I'm actually just trying to... <laughs> Get me to tell yeah. that story. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to pry it out. But I'm actually just trying to make sure that you feel seen and heard. Thank you. But if you don't want to be indebted to someone, just split the bill. Yeah. Me being a southern or, bell. you know what you could do? Order off the kids' menu. You could. It really doesn't cost that much. But you know what? They're probably still going to complain about the price, so... Yeah, they'll be like, that literally cost me 80 bucks. Yeah, I mean, like, they might say that. It could be, that could happen, you know? Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, that would be really weird. That would be so weird. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. How many more do you have? Uh, one, two. Oh my gosh, you two. have ten. I have two. Oh, they're so long. I'm so excited. I have one more after this. Are you ready? Yes. All right. <clears throat> So I talked to this guy for about two weeks before we went on a date. We went to a dinner and it was very meh. 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 <laughs> However, we laughed and had a good time. I always planned to pay for my own. He offered to pay. Smart. When the bill came, he flirted around it and then... Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. And then poured salt <gasps> in my purse. <laughs> Let's just continue. What's the reason? Let's just continue. I kind of laughed it off in a I'm never calling this guy again kind of way. Salt. This? What? Then he... <laughs> I can't even say. Then he slapped me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Salt in the wound. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. Then he slapped me in the face. It was on the softer side, but I just met him like an hour no. ago. No, formally <laughs> sympathizing a slap in the face. It was on the softer side. Yeah. I think, like, was it like joking? I'm so confused. Anyway, no. we're not even done. We're not even done. I just paid the bill and we left. So she ended up paying somehow. <laughs> I don't like. I don't know. Oh. I walk outside to tell him bye, and he hugs me from behind. 
spins me around, tells me I'm the most gorgeous girl in the world, sets me down, and we leave. I get to my car to unmatch us, and he had messaged me, unmatch us, he had messaged me, quote, you're a fat b -word. <laughs> The twist and the turns of this story. They might need to see a psychiatrist. But she said, all I can do is laugh about it because now I'm married. Good for you, girl. I'm so glad I that you lived through that. nicer. That's Rose Salt in her purse. Slaps her this in the like, face. I couldn't have come up with this sequence of events if you'd paid me a million dollars to do so. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. In the car, you you're fat. fat. Female dog. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm glad you recovered, My jaw girl. is on the floor. I might have never talked to another man in my life. I really didn't know what was going to happen. I thought, like, if we went outside, he ran over me with his car. Like, I was yeah. fully expecting that. Uh, I put nothing past this man. Because what? <laughs> Slapped me in the face. I'm just, it's I, on the softer I side. I really need more information about this. I might have to, like, seek this girl out and say, give me, like, a, the full rundown. Oh, because yeah. how did these things happen? He's for sure in jail now. On one, at one afternoon. Like, Your in one evening. had to be spinning. Seriously. You're getting whiplash from these series of events. That's literally hilarious. Do you have one more? Yeah. I'm excited about this one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Have you read it? Kind of. I was a freshman in college with a guy who was a senior. First red flag. And he took me out to a Mexican restaurant in our college town. Classic. We walked for a while and then decided to go get ice cream and ride around listening to music. I didn't know the area too well and he told me he wanted to make, to take me to this beautiful place he found with some of his friends. Me being naive, I said sure and hopped in. Mind you, I barely knew him. Second red flag. Everything was going well, and we were talking, singing songs, when all of a sudden we were in the middle of a holler with a couple trailers around. Not the holler. You know this girl's from our area. <laughs> Not the holler. I asked what was going on, and he stopped the car and pulled out a pistol out of the glove box and told me he was going to keep me safe. What? A pistol? Keep you safe. Third and major red flag. She wasn't scared till you pulled out the pistol. She was just singing a good old song. <laughs> yeah, in Party the holler. in the USA in the holler. She wasn't afraid of no holler. She's afraid of you, sir. It, it keeps going. I instantly sent a text to my guy friend telling him what was going on and to meet me at McDonald's back in town. I told my date that the Mexican food was making me sick and to take me to the McDonald's so I could use the restroom. We get there, and I jumped out, went inside, and waited until my friend arrived and snuck out the other door and drove off. I blocked him on everything and never heard from him again. I told a classmate the next day, and she said her friend had the same exact experience with the same guy two weeks before that. Ladies, be careful. He's just protecting and serving. This is just his Friday night activity, you know? He, you know he gets a little... A pistol. He could be a serial killer, truly. No, like, you may have just escaped. Seriously. A pistol. I'm going Luckily, to keep you safe. her friend escaped what? as well. Literally, literally what? what? You just, as a rule of thumb, if there are any men listening in, maybe don't bring any girls on a first date to a location in which you feel the need to protect her with a firearm. Okay? Yeah. That's a good start. But I'm feeling like it goes deeper. I'm feeling like this man also needs a diagnosis if he doesn't have one. Yeah, just a, a small... Oh, I actually have on one more. Okay. Wait, I do too. But, yeah, so, I was just... After perfect. You. That one is equally as shocking and jarring as the one you just... A pistol. I agree. Let's just stay away from firearms on the first date. Unless you're going to a firing range, you know? Which is... Unless it's Why are we going to a firing range on our first know, day maybe like, if we don't know each other? Maybe they're like NRA people, you know? <laughs> maybe. They're like met through the NRA. Right. All right, you ready? This is like a series of things, like one through five. Unfortunate okay? events. Number one, arrived late and told me he didn't want to come because, quote, it's raining and it affects my mood. <laughs> no, that's valid. <laughs> he has gout. <laughs> Okay, number two. <laughs> he has gout. There's nothing 
wrong with having gout, okay? There's no shame in that. You can just tell your date that. Anyway, number two. Talked about how he wanted a stay-at-home mom. Or a stay-at-home wife. I was 19. Yeah, just... No, it's sounding better. The older <laughs> I get. Like, Honestly, me too. like, what's wrong with that? No, just yeah, kidding. Okay, I'm not seeing number any Number three. Flaws. Compared Kanye West to Jesus for 30 minutes. Quote, they're both misunderstood. And he's... I'm actually sympathizing with this man. Stop. <laughs> the Kanye rain West. affects my mood also. Oh, man. I'm... It's rainy and it affects my mood. I'm terrified. Okay, one more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Said my outfit was, quote, okay. That's honestly, like, criminal. I'm sorry, that seems, like, so simple. But, like, you dress up for a date and the guy's like, it's okay. You look okay. Like, why, why do you say that? Lie. Just say, lie. Just Absolutely lie. lie right there. Jesus Christ and Kanye West both misunderstood. Yeah. Although, the more... Kanye exists, the more I'm just like, what? Exactly. I don't think you're misunderstood. I think you're doing it to yourself. Yeah. Pookie. And as a Taylor Swift fan, I just can't. I fear he he also needs a diagnosis. And I don't mean that in a making fun way. I mean that diagnosis. in a... Diagnosis. Diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> You get a diagnosis. You get a diagnosis. We're passing it around like candy. Yeah. So, anything else? Just one quick short one. Okay. Girlfriend... Pulled my head towards her for a kiss while I was backing my car. <laughs> and I hit a car. <laughs> Do you want to share anything else about no, that? No, I think I'm just going to leave that one. Are you sure? Right where it's at. Um, yep. Yeah, because, yeah. Okay. Just. If you are if you were, like, going to guess when that story took place, when would you say? I literally have no idea. Oh, really? Because you don't know anything no. about it? No. Okay. Can't relate. Just check in. These <laughs> were... Oh my gosh. Amazing. I love story episodes. Me too. These are my favorite episodes. I just get so excited when it's Me time too. to record them. This was so fun. I just sometimes I wish that I would have dated around a little more just yeah. to have a little just more to be able to experience. share with the pod. But I'm so grateful for my relationship, but Oh my gosh, I'm lying. I forgot about my question box I put on my story. I have two good ones from oh, there. Oh really? I just got on my Instagram and this popped up. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Oh, no worry. I have more since then. Really? I also need to check Facebook and see if there are any more on there. Put it on all platforms. This, I just want to preface this by saying this woman's name is not Samantha. He kept calling me Samantha. Oh. (laughs) Even said it to my friends we went on the double date with. Samantha. Samantha. It's better. It's better to avoid saying the name. Yeah, than just saying the wrong name. Call him. I don't know. Hey, don't you. Call. Just say like, you over just, there. Just say, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, not Samantha. Another one. Went on a pity date in high school. Had a Already date. starting off bad. Not the pity date. His mom and granny came along. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old were you? Mm-hmm. Like, could you drive? If you can't drive, then I get it. Like, you know, you need someone to take you where you're going, but yeah, Granny, Granny had to come? Like, Mom couldn't just sit in the car? I really feel like Granny could have stayed at home. Granny, like, could have just waited and had her moment. It's giving Mom wants to date her son. It is. It's giving toxic mother-in-law. Okay. Um. Let's check Facebook really quick. There appears to be no new Nothing. ones. So, but we did some shout out to Facebook as a construct for helping us out with this episode. Yes, I just love episodes like these. Me too. I love to listen to them. I love to make them. I love them. D- we day need and to night. know if you all love these episodes. If story episodes have no fans, I'm dead. Yeah, because honestly, if we could do story episodes every week, I would want to do that. Me too. Because they're just. Maybe we'll get there. So funny. Yeah. They're cracking me up. I love them. Me too. Anything else? If you're new here, please follow us on all of the things. I hate when people say all of the things. I should have put that in our pet peeves episode. Yeah, you do. When people say this and this and all the things. And a lot of nurses say that. that. Like if you have a patient and they're like no offense. Intubated. They got all the lines. They'll just say they've got all the things. 
and I understand, but like it is like a it nurse. is kind of it's like a nurse it. personality kind of thing to do. Oh, do you have a thing against those? Yes. Mm. I'm just kidding. Interesting. Um, have we ever talked about like the stereotype of nurses being mean girls? On I podcast? think so. Yeah, we can get into it later again. But anyway. so I'm not like every other nurse. <laughs> She's different. I'm She's different. not like other nurses. Um, anyway, we are on TikTok. We're on Instagram. We are on YouTube. And I think on everything, we're Friends in the Wild Pod, except on YouTube. We're FITW Podcast. And I think that's what we are on TikTok, too. I mean on TikTok. It's FITW Podcast. Oh, yeah. On YouTube, it's Friends in the Wild Pod. Um, um, so like us, leave us a rating. Five stars, obviously. Or don't leave us a rating. Five stars are nothing. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, you would like. LG has a tingling in her bones that we're about to take off. I do. I had a dream last night she that we went premonition. viral on TikTok and got about 5,000 followers. So, if you guys could just make that happen for us, please. We'd greatly appreciate right it. Right now, we're averaging about, like, 350 views. That's 350. Stop at that. Not, like, 1,000 That's on anything. TikTok. On TikTok, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> less than that the podcast i you always hate on our amount of listeners but i think we're it's, doing excellent I'm doing reverse psychology oh sorry it wasn't Literally. working on Stop me hating the arts <laughs> the arts i don't support the arts <laughs> okay guys we hope that you all equally enjoyed this week's episode i'm praying to all to all i'm praying for all the girls in the dating field yeah and they need it in the scene of dating stay strong you all are braver than the marines you are fearfully and wonderfully made and therefore and don't forget that therefore you don't need to listen to these measly nasty men literally know your worth are there any more cliches that we could say fearfully and wonderfully made is a bible verse not a cliche <laughs> you're actually not <laughs> okay no um um just hang strong, in strong independent woman god gives his hardest battles to his toughest soldiers <laughs> I think we found some toughest soldiers today. Right. Thank you for your service. Serious. We're hoping that you find your your Prince Charming. Your match. Soon. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you all next week. We love you. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.